What's up guys, welcome to your 72nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is kind of link those things together that we set up and finally get a little bit of drawing action to happen here. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go into the My Bring Back Surface class and grab the entire class and cut it. So don't grab your imports or your package, but everything else, grab that, cut it, and then go into the Graphics Surface class. Um, and we're going to paste that within, um, you know, within our graphics class here. So one bracket from the bottom, that's where we're going to paste. And so just hit Control V and paste. The reason we did that is because we set up these X and Y values within this class. And we, and, you know, we uh, said that this whole class, the graphics surface class, can use those values. So if we paste that other class within this class, uh, we can still have access to the X and Y, which is what we're going to want. And then the other thing we can do is actually, uh, you know, delete this uh, my bring back surface class, just to do something a little different. I'm um, having a class within another class is another example uh, or another reason I did this. And then we go there. We go um, now. What we need to do is since we defined what our X and Y is going to be when we click. Um, when we click our uh, our view, for the most part, we want to kind of draw a bitmap at that location. So we're going to do that within our canvas here. And uh, after our background, after we draw our background, and we're going to say um, if expression mark or ex ex exclamation mark can't, uh, or I'm sorry, x exclamation mark equals zero. Um, so basically this is checking if x is not equal to zero, do whatever is within, um, whatever is below for the most part. We're going to have two different uh, things that it's looking for. So we're going to say and, and to do the and statement you do two and signs. And then we say y is not equal to zero as well. Um, because again we set x and y equal to be zero right at the beginning and we don't want to draw that ball right when our application starts. So uh, that's the only time we're going to draw the ball is if the x and y is not equal to zero. So there we go. Now we're going to set up our bitmap. This kind of review. We're going to call this like test, something like that. And import bitmap. And then again from the bitmap factory. Ah, I can't spell. Dot decode resource. And then for again for this one we say get resources. Like use the get resource method for the first parameter. For the second parameter, it's our actual uh, bitmap that we want to decode. So we're going to say r dot drawable dot green ball, and then finish off our statement. So now that we have our bitmap set up, all we have to do is draw it to the canvas. So we're going to say our canvas name, and then we're going to say draw uh, bitmap. And we're going to use this one that takes a float for the left and the top and the paint as well. Um, so we're clicking that. And then for a bitmap, we're going to use the test that we just set up here. For the left, we're going to use our x value. Again, that's going to be uh, the information that we get from the touch uh, that we set up in that method up above. And then for the top, it's going to be the y value. And for the paint, it's going to be null. Now we basically have everything set up for our little... Uh, for our first little, um, you know, painting to the canvas here. So I'm just going to run it, make sure everything works for the most part. And uh, and uh, in the next tutorial, we're just going to fine tune everything. I'll show you some of the problems that we're having right now uh, within the way this application is set up. But I just want to show you that it is kind of working for the most part. So we're going to go to our graphics surface surface class as you can see the ball is not drawn yet but when we click the ball is drawn um, and again it's being drawn by the top left corner of our bitmap so I'll show you how to fix that in the next tutorial as well as when we click and hold and drag our ball is not following us for the most part um, so we're gonna get you know solve that issue which isn't gonna be a difficult issue at all but I just want to show you what it looks like now so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial peace